Hey everyone, my name is Tegan, welcome back to Sandy Rights. Today, it's a slightly different video to what I would usually do. Sorry, my dog's down here, he's... Please stop licking yourself. Um, today I'm going to be reorganising my bookshelves, which is something that I haven't done... Look, it's you. It's something that I haven't done... ever. Like, when I get books, I just put them on the shelves and that's it. And <laughs> then they're, they're here. But I wanted to really wanted to now that Christmas has gone and the Waterstones half price half back sale has gone and my birthday has gone, I now have so many books that are just overflowing onto other shelves and there's no organisation here. And it's just really frustrating to look at. This is why people think you're aggressive. In case you didn't know, because you probably wouldn't, Chow Chows are always voted to be like one of the most aggressive look this way one of the most aggressive like dog breeds in the world but he just wants to play he's also you're taking up so much of the frame so the plan for today is that i'm going to take all the books off my shelves pretty much and clean it and then i think i want to organize them so they can go on alphabetically like a true library bookstore situation but i'm undecided yet there was a very brief phase where i wanted to do like color coded ones like the rainbow bookshelves but I don't know if that's for me, so I want to split my series. So I think we're going to go alphabetical. Hello. You can't just eat me all the time. But you are a big puppy. So yeah, plan for today. This is going to be, it's going to be one video, but I'm going to have to break it into two parts. I'm going to take off all my books today. I'm going to organise them off camera. And then <laughs> I'm going to put them all back on tomorrow. So yeah. Will you stop? Ha, <laughs> Welcome back. So here is all the books that I took on my shelves yesterday. They're kind of in alphabetical piles, but like I have like three piles of S last names. I have two piles of Bs, but like it's roughly right. These shelves I haven't touched because that's all Cassandra Clare, that's all Rick Riordan. So I will just move those the second I had to put them on the right shelf. And this is currently excluding my Harry Potter, where's it gone? There. Exclude my Harry Potter first edition. This will all be like a donate pile. I'm out of breath. So the plan for today is just to put them back on my shelves. Also, I need to remember to leave a space to add my own books so I can be on my own shelves properly. So that's fun. And that's what we're gonna do. Also, I'm sitting down to start putting them on my shelves and starting the time lapse, and I'm realizing that like I have a um, my book collection is technically incomplete right now because I have a lot of books at uni and also I'm intending on buying more or specific authors works so I'm probably gonna have to rearrange all my shelves again in like a month or two's time when I move back from uni <laughs> but we're gonna get on with it So I've made it through, I'm in the H's right now, and the big bookcase is filled. Um, my special edition Lady Midnight is too tall to fit on the shelf, and so is this one, I believe. I don't know why that was. Wait. I oh, know, this one fits on the top shelf, but not on the shelves below. The top shelf is wider than the others. And now I'm moving on to the second shelf. I also knocked it over. You may have seen like, a big gap of me off camera, it's because I knocked over my S piles, so now I have four S piles. So we're going to finish the H's, but I feel like we're probably about, I was going to say we're third done, but then I see all the space behind me. We're going to keep going. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in theory, I am done because my shelves have been filled or filled. However, there's still about maybe like 20 books that I have no space for. So I'm going to have to go back to my old technique of like stacking books on top of other books. But this makes no sense to me because there's a pile again of probably maybe 30 books that I've removed from my shelves. And then somehow I still don't have space. So right now, I've managed, these ones are very out of order because I wanted to try and keep my series together, but all the S, these are all S's. And there's a lot more S's, like I forgot, I have so much like Mikey Savotta, so much V Schwab, 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 Angie Sage, all the Vampire Diary books are LJ Smith, so many S's. By the way, I'm overwhelmed with books. <laughs> That's not even counting like this shelf here that you're sat on, which has largely like childhood books that I don't want to like mess with. But I'm gonna have to. Either way, this is as much as I can do. I'm quite I'm quite pleased with what it is. I think I'm gonna cull more books. Also my process of culling books, I've done like one video on like my first unhaul ever. I don't plan on making another one anytime soon because it's very close in time. But my plan for getting like rid or like donating or giving books to friends is books that because I used to buy books instead of using my library. So a series of books that I just bought and ended up not liking. Books that I read once and now I have no desire to pick up again so they are just taking up space. Or just books that I picked up, I have no memory of what happened, I've read the description and I have no mem like no urge to read it again. So basically books I don't like or don't care about anymore. Or books that I bought when, like in my early teens, like I'm now 21. <laughs> So there's so many books I bought in my early teens that I loved at the time, but now they're just not for me because I have grown up. So I hope that they can go to a better home for someone who loves them more. But I'm clinging on to this shelf of like all my childhood books. There's also so many like there's so many proof copies of like old copies of my book. I put one up on this shelf, but like the new book is significantly thicker than these. These are so old, but I just have them. So if I get rid of these, I'll have a lot more space. Ooh, back up you go. By the way, thank you for watching. I hope some of that causes some enlightenment. And I hope I can somehow find a way to fit more stuff on my shelves. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. That's you.